Hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Friedman with this week's SEL lesson for you to complete at home. This week's lesson focuses on worry. What is worry and how can we deal with it? Worry is a feeling. Sometimes it can be confusing. Sometimes it can be helpful and it can be a signal for a possible danger, kind of like a smoke alarm. Maybe there is danger, but maybe there is not. It is definitely okay to worry a little but we don't want the worry to keep you from doing things that you want to do. So let's watch Julia Cook share her book, Wilma Jean, The Worry Machine, and listen to Wilma Jean learn how to handle her worries. As you watch the video, think about the questions on the right-hand side of the screen. to you live Facebook. I don't even know where to look on these things. So if I'm looking kind of strange, it's because I have no idea what I'm doing. But we are all here today to start bookends. We're going to read Wilma Jean, The Worry Machine. Wilma Jean. Last Friday, I didn't want to get out of bed because I didn't want to go to school, so I pretended to be asleep. I think I had the worry flu. Every morning when I wake up, I feel just fine. But then my tongue gets salty, my throat gets tied, I grit my teeth because nothing feels right. My stomach feels like it's tied up in a knot. My knees lock up and my face feels hot. Worry, 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 you know what I mean. I'm Wilma Jean the Worry Machine. On Friday, I was worried about spelling because we had a spelling test. What if I forget how to spell? What if everyone finishes before me? I worried about math. What if I get picked to do a problem up on the board in front of everyone? What if the kids make fun of my hair again? What if I get the problem wrong? What if they write about it in the school newspaper? I worried about school lunch. What if we have buttered carrots and the lunch ladies make me eat them? I can't stand buttered carrots. Get up, Wilma Jean, my mom said. It's time to get ready for school. I know you're not asleep because you're making that pickle face, the one you make when you're worried about something. If you don't stop worrying so much, you're going to make yourself sick again. Too late, I thought to myself. By the time I got to school, I felt like I'd swallowed an elephant playing the banjo. Luckily, I didn't forget how to spell. I didn't get picked in math. And for lunch, we had buttered corn. I love buttered corn. Then I started to think about my afternoon. What if Aberdeen has another orthodontist appointment after lunch? Who will I play with at recess? What if I get picked last for a team in PE? What if they write about that in the school newspaper? What if I'm so busy getting all my homework together after school that I miss the bus and I have to walk home and it's snowy and I don't have my boots? What if my after school snack is tapioca pudding? I can't stand tapioca pudding. Well, Jean, honey, the lunch lady said, finish your corn. You're gonna miss recess. And what's wrong with your face? You look like you just bit down on a sour pickle. When I walked out onto the playground, I saw Aberdeen right away. Her orthodontist appointment was after school. In PE, Reggie Beck got chosen to be the team captain, and he's had a crush on me for years, so he picked me first. I made it to the bus after school in plenty of time. 
And when I got home, my mom gave me butterscotch pudding for my snack. I love butterscotch pudding. I looked across the room, and as soon as I saw Aberdeen's birthday present sitting on the counter, my tongue got salty and my throat got tight. I gritted my teeth because nothing felt right. My stomach felt like it was tied up in a knot. My knees locked up and my face got hot. Well, Majid, you're making the pickle face again. What are you worried about now, my mom asked. I can't go to Aberdeen's birthday skating party tomorrow afternoon. Why? You love skating and you love Aberdeen. Because what if I get there late and everybody's already skating and they run out of skates? And, and what if I forget how to skate and I wipe out and everybody laughs at me? And what if they write about that in the town newspaper? And what if Aberdeen is so busy with all her other friends that she doesn't have time to skate with me? And I, and I have to skate all by myself? And, and, and what if, what if, what if, what if? Well, Majid, if you don't stop worrying so much, you're going to make yourself sick again. Now I'm starting to really worry about you. My mom made the pickle face just like me. And she picked up the phone and called my doctor, my principal my school counselor, my teacher, my accordion instructor, the mayor of our town and the governor of our state. Well, not really the last two. When she finally hung up the phone, her pickle face went away. The next day, my mom made sure that I was the first one at Aberdeen's birthday skating party, so I had my choice of skates. I only wiped out once, and I don't think anyone noticed. And everyone at the party talked to me and we all skated together. So I never felt left out. I had the best time ever. The rest of my weekend was great and I didn't have to make the pickle face once. But on Monday morning, my pickle face came back. Don't worry, Wilma Jean, my mom said. From now on, things are gonna be different. My mom drove me to school early so we could have a special meeting with my teacher. Well, Majin, you seem to worry a lot about things. Everybody worries about things, and worrying a little bit is a good thing most of the time. But when you worry so much that it keeps you from doing the things you want to do, we need to figure out a way to help you. I want you to tell me everything you're worried about at school, and I'm gonna write each word you have down on a note card. Well, I said, I always worry when we take a test. I'm just afraid that I won't do my best. I'm always scared that I'll run out of time. Even though you say, oh, you'll be just fine. I worry about doing my math on the board, I might get it wrong and get a bad score. Then all the things, all the kids won't think that I'm smart and I won't get a smiley on the smiley math chart. I worry about lunch and what they will serve. If they serve butter carrots, I know I will hurl. I worry that kids will make fun of my hair. I try to fix it, but it goes everywhere. I worry about having friends to play with outside. Last time the girls left me, and that made me cry. I worry about missing the bus at the end of the day. I worry about the naughty kids and the things that they say. I worry about worrying so much, cause that's all I do. I worry I'll always have the bad worry flu. Oh, and I worry about the weather too. My teacher wrote and wrote and wrote. Then she drew a big line across the board. On top of the line, she wrote the words, worries I can control. On the bottom, she wrote, worries I cannot control. Then she had me stick all my worries on the board where I thought they belonged. Well, Maji, I know just what to do. I can help you get rid of your bad worry flu. The things that you worry about are easy to fix. Just let me use some of my great teacher tricks. 
when we take tests, I will be sure to give you just a little bit of extra time if you need it. If you're going to be picked for a math problem on the board, I'm going to give you your problem the night before so that you can practice doing it at home. I'm going to make sure that you have the lunch menu each week so you can bring a sack lunch on butter carrot days. My sister is a hairstylist. She's coming to our class Thursday for career day to teach everyone how to make their hair look better. We could set up some fun recess group games and contests and even do a lunch punch so that playing outside with others will be easier for you. I can help you stay organized throughout the day so when the bell rings, you're gonna have plenty of time to catch the bus. I can help you control all of these worries, well, except for the weather. Nobody can control the weather. For that one, we need the worry hat. Put the worry hat on and think about all your worries and then think them into the hat. Turn the hat upside down and it will hold your worries for you. Then, if you ever want or need to get them back, you can put the hat back on and think them back into your head. I let my teacher try out all of her tricks. Believe it or not, I was easy to fix. She taught me how to be more in control. I feel a lot better because now I just know what to do with my worries when they're inside my head. Now I'll never let worrying keep me in bed. From now on, when I worry, I'll know just what to do to keep from making, for, to keep from getting that bad worry flu. And hopefully, I won't have to make that pickle face as much. Wilma Jean had a lot of what if thoughts. There were a lot of situations that were causing her worrying thoughts and making her stomach feel like it was tied up in knots. When we worry, sometimes we worry about things we can control and sometimes we worry about things we cannot control. Some of the examples that we, and some of the things that we can control are the words we say, our actions and choices, the effort we put into things, our attitude and how we treat others. Some examples of things that we cannot control are other people's words, choices, and behaviors. The weather, illnesses, and world events, like what's happening now with the coronavirus. It is normal and okay to worry about these things that we cannot control. But when our attention is only on those things we cannot control, it can make our worry grow and grow and even bigger. So for today's activity, we're going to evaluate our worry. I would like for you to write or draw the worries you have on a piece of paper. Decide if it's something that is in or out of your control, just like Wilma Jean. Then place a check mark next to the worry if it is something you have control over, or put an X next to the worry if it isn't something you can control. And then under each worry, I want you to identify two or three three things related to your worry that you can control, and then I want you to focus on those. So let me show you an example. So I listed that I worry about getting the coronavirus. I can't totally control that worry, so I put an X by it. But there are some things that I can control about the situation. I can wash my hands before I eat, I can take care of my body by exercising and eating healthy, and I can make sure that I keep my hands away from my face. So instead of worrying about if I am going to get the virus, I am going to focus on the things I can control. Again, it is so important to redirect our attention to the things we can control and stop worrying about the things that we can't. This was one of my this was one of many different strategies you can use to calm your worries. For the worries we can't control, we need to learn how to cope or handle the worry in the best way possible. I will leave you with this image of a coping skills wheel with nine different ways to calm your worry. 
One of my favorites is to take big, slow, deep breaths to help our body calm down and slow down so our brain will calm down and slow down so we can think through what is going on. Thank you for checking out this week's lesson, and I look forward to another lesson with you next week.